Okay guys, for demonstration purposes, doll number one will be Henry, and doll number two will be Kai. Guys, let's go <laughs> and enjoy this nice, beautiful Sunday weather. We can go to the park. Yay! We can go to the movies. Yay! You guys want to go out to eat with us? Of course. Uh, where do you want to eat? How about Raisin Cane's? All right, guys. Let's uh, let's go have fun. Make sure you put on your seatbelts. All right. I don't know if other parents have this problem or this issue with their kids, but uh, our children are at that stage now where where they don't want to go nowhere with us. Um, we ask them if they want to go eat, if they want to go to John Road, they want to do something, but the answer is always no. We just want to stay home and play video games. Hey guys, uh, let's go eat. No. Uh, you guys want to go to the movies with us? Maybe next time. Um, but you guys can pick the movie. What movie do you want to see? No, it's not any movie that we want to see. Uh, hey guys, want to go to Jump World? Uh, hey guys, you want to go ride go-karts? No, thank you. What do y'all want to do? Anything? Y'all can pick anything. We just want to stay home and play video games. Yeah. This happens all the time. I don't. It, it wasn't like that uh, three years ago, two years ago. No, it was more fun. Yeah, they, they would say yes to everything. Yes. Yes, and they will want to go anywhere that we go, but now it's no, so no. difficult to make them go somewhere. Uh, let us know in the comments if this happens with you guys. Yeah, we want to know the experience and what you do to like resolve or to do something about it. Did you get upset to them or how do you react to these responses? I bet some parents are like, get in the car, you're going. Right? More likely. <laughs> I think some parents, it's like, it's not even a choice. But, yeah. Yeah, we always give them a choice. Yeah, I think it's better to give them a choice. Yeah, now that they're getting older and they make their own decisions. But well, it's just hard on us because we want to do things and have fun with them, but mm -hmm. maybe that's not interesting to them anymore. I think so. Maybe it's the stage two they're going through. Yeah. But I don't know. Just tell us what you think about it. And we want to know what is your experience too. Amor. Yes. How about sushi? Yay! Yes. Oh yeah, front row parking. It's like perfect. She always asks me to try her drinks first before she drinks it. Mm, pretty good. It's good? It's like um, I'm her taste tester. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna get a sushi roll. Sushi roll? The lobster, the Lion King, the Las Vegas. Ninja roll. Ooh, scorpion roll. Mm, volcano roll. I think I'm gonna get this one. Sounds good. Starting off with a miso soup.
We got the ginger. And okay, we're done. <laughs> I thought it was a selfie. I was like, check out the, Check out the samurai armor. He's a cool guy. Do you like the restaurant? Yes, I do. Awesome. It was delicious. Alright, time to head out. Let's go. Ah, uh, bright, too bright. <laughs> That's all. You know, this is the sweetest thing that my husband always do. Oh. Yeah, he's the sweetest one. Who sings this song? Bunny and Becky. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> Ouch! She just hit me in the nuts. <laughs>